Welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 park build. And I had a lot of fun building the Triassic Park two weeks ago, I think. I had lots of fun building the Triassic Park. And then I thought that maybe I should build a truly Jurassic Park and a Cretaceous Park as well. I'm regretting this decision right now because building this park this Jurassic Park was awful, to say the least. It was a real challenge. I had this idea that, again, the map is based on what the world looked like back in the Jurassic period. Same thing with the Triassic. And it was really, really difficult to build the Jurassic map. It was really, really, really difficult. I think it took me, um, let's see maybe two hours just to create the shape of the map one and a half hours maybe no two two and a half yeah it was a lot and then i started building the park itself by then i realized that if i build this entire map in one video it would either be a extremely fast video and no one would understand anything or it would be a tremendously long video and no one would want to watch it so i had the idea to split the jurassic park it's weird saying jurassic park because it's not jurassic park from the jurassic park universe it's a jurassic park based on the jurassic period anyway I had the idea to split the park into two videos. The next video will be released on Friday and maybe next Monday, perhaps I would do an overview of the park so that you guys can see everything. For part one, two and a half hours just to create the shape of the map and three hours to build the park itself. It was really, really a lot. But basically, we have four continents in the map. Don't ask me the name of the continents. I don't know. But we have four continents. And each continent will have a different section of the park. In today's video, I will be building two continents and in part two, the other two continents. And I have this idea that to journey from one section of the park to the other, you need to go via helicopter. So you need to fly to the other side of the world, so to speak. So every continent will have four helipads. About the dinosaurs. We are lacking a couple of Jurassic dinosaurs, aren't we? I was going through the roster and we have way fewer Jurassic dinosaurs and prehistoric species in general. I didn't use all of the Jurassic dinosaurs, but we need more Jurassic dinosaurs, honestly. We have a lot of Cretaceous dinosaurs, but very few Jurassic ones and way fewer Triassic dinosaurs. The main section of the park is the guest area, so there will be no enclosures, no dinosaurs, no exhibits, no attractions, nothing. It's where the hotels are, there are some restaurants, a square, some plazas, just guest stuff. The guests would then walk into one of the three helipads and venture into another section of the park. The second section is mainly focused on the main attraction of this park, that is the Allosaurus, the apex predator of the Jurassic there's also going to be an aviary with the Dimorphodon and the Jehulopterus and another enclosure with Camarasaurus and Dryosaurus. This Jurassic Park was a test of my creativity, to be honest. It was a real challenge. I ended up loving the result. I think the park is shaping up to be really, really, really cool. But it was a challenge, a real one. But I hope you guys enjoy the video, enjoy the park build, and don't you forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys 
Friday for part two of the Jurassic Park that again is not based on Jurassic Park from the Jurassic Park universe but actually based on the Jurassic period of the dinosaur era. It's a really confusing name, honestly.